Hi everyone, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming and this is pillow project number one. There'll be a second one that I'll do in, uh, I don't know, an hour or so. Anyways, um, I'm with DIY Dreaming and on this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can turn just about anything, well, any placemat or probably any napkin into a pillow and then how to stencil it. So. As you're hopping on, um, say hi, let me know you're watching, let me know where you're watching from. I love to see when people are clear across the California, across the country in California, or sometimes over in um, England, or I've ha had somebody from Australia once. Hey, Diane. So let me know as you hop on, and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so I bought these darling placemats at Target in the dollar section last Valentine's Day. They were um, four for either three or five dollars, I don't remember. Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me. Okay, and um, I never got around to doing anything with them and I really didn't think that I would actually use them for um, placemats. Oh shoot, I forgot to flip. Darn. Hope you guys aren't going to be too mad at me, but this, this video is going to be, um, I wonder if I can do it right now. Well, we'll just go on, but the next video I will make sure that I flip. Okay. So, um, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with these, but they're really nice. Um, so today I'm going to show you how we can make it into a pillow for Valentine's Day or really it's gonna be pretty generic that's how I like to do my main holidays except for Christmas I like to do things that have a little hint of the holiday maybe the shape or a word or phrase or something but that don't scream Valentine's Day so you probably won't see bright pink and bright red and Cupid's arrows on anything that I make um, but not that I don't like that stuff it's just not my style um, so you could also use something like this. These are two placemats that I got from Hobby Lobby. These could be turned into a pillow also and you could stencil them. So look around your house um, and see what you have because I bet you you have something that we could turn into a placemat. So the first thing I did before I came live was I stenciled this because I wanted it to dry before I showed you how to um, close the pillow. Okay, so I use this stencil that's backwards for you. I'm so sorry. Dang it, I forgot to flip it. Um, and it says, all things work together for God, for good to those who love God. Okay, so there's a heart on here and it's talking about loving God. So I used black gel ink and I did include links in the little blurb right above that describes what this video is about. So if you wanna go check out this stencil or um, this gel ink, um, you can just click on those links and it'll take you right there. I did wanna tell you that this um, stencil comes as a set. So you get two stencils, which is awesome. And it's in one big sheet and I just cut it in half. Okay, so what I did is I just took my stencil off the backing laid it down on top of my pillow, eyeballed it to get it um, centered, but I never measure and I don't recommend that you do. And then I used a spreader, which I've had a lot of questions about, how do you apply the ceramic paint? How do you apply chalk art? How do you apply gel ink? And so I wanted to take two seconds and tell you about this. This is a spreader. It's from a maker studio as well as the other products. It's 50 cents, you guys. What I do with these is I cut them into littler pieces that are more manageable. And I hang on to them for a week or two, and then I throw them away when they get really gunky and yucky looking. So they're um, under tools and under paintbrushes, just in case uh, you're looking for this. I might just go ahead and drop a link to this spreader in the comments here too. Okay. so. I just use some gel ink on a spreader. You put it on like it's toothpaste and you just push it through the holes. I let it dry. 
I um, am not gonna iron it to heat set it because this won't be washed. But if, it, if you were using gel ink on something like a tea towel that you thought might go in the washing machine, then you want to wait until it's dry, which is about two hours, and then iron it on um, like the hottest setting that's safe for the fabric that you can with your iron and you're just gonna go back and forth and back and forth. So this is cotton, so I would set my iron on linen. But uh, don't set your iron on linen to heat set something that's on polyester or, you know, I don't want you to scorch or ruin your project. So just be mindful of that. So this is what it looks like. Isn't it cute? It's gonna be so cute once I stuff it. All right, so I'm gonna put the two wrong sides together so that this is what the pillow will look like, all right? And then this is a very complicated process. No, it isn't. I am just going to take my hot glue gun and some of this glue that's called Sure Bonder I got this at Hobby Lobby. It was $2.99, it looks like this. This is hot glue that is designed specially for fabrics. It does um, dry kind of white, so don't use it if your project is really dark, but this stuff is great, okay? And I am going to just start at the center of the heart, and I don't want the glue to squish over onto my pom-poms. All right, so I'll go in a little bit. And, oh gosh. Okay. So you're just gonna put your glue on pretty thick because you want this sucker to really stick, especially at the point where the heart goes down. Okay, and then I'm just going to push my two pieces together and pull off all the strings. So that's basically what I will do to finish the whole pillow out, okay? Which is boring. I'm not gonna have you guys sit and watch me do hot glue. But I am gonna talk to you about what you can fill your pillow with. And then when I'm all finished with this project, I will stuff it I will take pictures and put those in the comments as well as on my DIY dreaming page. Which, speaking of my DIY dreaming page, if, um, if you like these kind of projects, I would really appreciate it if you would sprinkle this post as well as sprinkling my page. So if you go to my homepage and then click the share and it's DIY dreaming, that would be awesome. That just helps me. Facebook has all these weird things that analytics and I don't know stuff I don't really understand but I do understand that when people share posts and when people share pages that helps uh, the visibility of your page so so okay as far as stuffing goes I don't have any on hand right now um, and I'm not gonna make a special trip to Hobby Lobby or Walmart or you know Joanne's fabrics just for stuffing I do have several pillows in my stash that I'm not currently using, and I'm gonna take these apart and use this as the stuffing, okay? So I am a big proponent for using what you have and not going out and buying something new. And this was a pillow form that I bought at Walmart. It was about $3. I bought it to, do, to use for a project I did a while back that was um, two placemats that became a pillow. And um, it just has this polyfill in it. So I'm just gonna pull it out off camera because it's messy, um, fill this up, and then I will take pictures and show it to you. So that's pretty much all I have in this video. In the next video, we're gonna actually do the stencil and we're gonna be using this, which says Psalm 103, bless the Lord, oh my soul. I love this. And it's gonna go in the middle of this pillow form you can get um, both of these items at a maker studio. And when I do this video, I will include the right links. So, and then just a little bit later today, I'm going to show you the cutest pouch in the whole dang world. 
you're gonna totally want to make it. It's so cute. So, thanks for watching. I will be back with the pictures of this completed project. Uh, probably within 10 minutes, I'll have it all done. This takes absolutely no time to do. And um, you can take a peek at that either on my page or in the comments here. And um, I hope to see you for pillow project number two and then for the pouch project as well. Thanks for watching.